Welcome back to Healthy Kitchen. I am keeping my words and I'm firing out videos. Okay, guys, so today we have here, um, yeah, we have that wonderful looking piece of meat. <laughs> it's, uh, it's some tuna, very fresh, summery recipe that I have here for you. Hopefully, you'll give it a shot. It's pretty simple. Uh, just some fresh tuna, parsley, celery salad radish, kale, peppers, gherkins. We're just gonna start here by just breaking down our peppers. You've seen this trick before. Just wanna roll your pepper and pretty much just get the seeds out. And then you just wanna dice up those peppers and just make sure that everything is relatively the same size. And then move on to cutting up your green onions, okay? So the green onions here, basically you're just gonna chop them down just so that they're easy to puree after we saute everything. Add in uh, two cloves of garlic. And move on to your spicy pepper. Now, I love spice. You guys could decide if you wanna leave in the seeds or not. This is one of those days for me. I just chopped it up and threw it right in there and it was spicy. Okay, so if you do like spice, you could leave it. What I'm doing here basically is just sauteing everything in a little bit of camelina oil and what i'm adding here is what you call creamed uh, honey it's basically like i have no idea what the hell it is actually <laughs> it's delicious it gave the dish a little bit of sweetness uh i'm adding in some cracked black pepper and a little bit of kosher salt yeah so the honey is just basically to give the peppers a little bit of sweetness a little bit of uh life what i did there was i pureed it in my blender that sauce those peppers and i just let it sit on the back of my burner on really really low i have about i don't know about eight gherkins here and some celery and what i did was i shredded the celery and the gherkins you might be able to do this with a knife but i prefer to do it on my mandolin a little dangerous, so be careful if you have one at home. Extra virgin olive oil, cracked black pepper, and I put a little splash of the pickled gherkins juice in there, okay? Now I'm just cutting up some green onions just for a little bit of extra garnish at the end of the dish when everything is all ready. Now, for my green beans, what I did here was chopped up some garlic. Really, really simple. Nothing complicated here. And just ripped off the kale from the middle, which was a lot, like the middle stock or the middle uh, of the leaf, which was a lot harder, and just broke it all down like that. Now I chopped up some parsley here just to roll my tuna in. So chop it up as small as you can, put the tuna down, add your salt and your cracked black pepper. Now this salt that I'm using here is smoked Malden sea salt. Amazing, it gave the, the dish another level of complexity. And I just rolled the tuna loin in the parsley, okay? Making sure that everything is well patted in there and well coated. Now, a little more camelina oil on, this, on the burner. I just added my tuna down. Make sure when you add in the tuna in the pan, you're putting it away from you, not towards you. You don't want any accidents to happen, like the oil splashing back and hitting you on your arm. Okay, now... This was on medium high, okay? You gotta make sure that you know how you want your tuna done. My wife is not the biggest fan of like super rare or blue tuna. So I try to cook it about medium, medium rare, kind of. So just sear off all the outsides, golden brown all the way around. Moving it evenly and then checking it for its doneness. Once you figure that out, you can put it off to the side. Now, for the green beans, I added it in with the garlic after I took the tuna out of the pan. And just simply put two tablespoons of that pepper sauce that I made. It was a sweet, spicy, funky, garlicky, nice pepper sauce that I had made. Just to go along with everything. And cracked black pepper. And I just threw in a little bit of lemon juice with the kale and just a little bit of salt. Check your seasoning levels. You know how you like things done, so make sure you check them on your own. Okay? Always taste, taste, taste. 
Now, that was a quick shot of the sauce and the beautiful tuna after I let it rest. Now, I could have let the tuna rest a little bit more. But to be honest, this really sounds bad, but I was in a bit of a rush. And I had to plate the dish as fast as I could. I was watching my kids. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so the tuna here, beautiful colors. Make sure if you're, you, you can have enough servings here for at least five people. It was uh, about a pound and a half of tuna. Simple plating here, sauce on the bottom, green beans, kale, okay? And then you just wanna add your tuna off to the side. Very easy, nothing complicated, super simple. We're keeping it simple, we're keeping it smart. We're going back to basics, and you know what? I'm pumping out videos, so come back. I'll see you tomorrow again. Healthy Kitchen, always a pleasure. Thank you for all my longtime subscribers. Anyone that's new, please hit the subscribe button, comment, share, like, and cheers.